At the start of this lesson series, we said that we would help you learn how to build a website with GitHub Pages. But so far, all we've done is to create the home page. GitHub Pages is a static website generator, which means it's our responsibility to build the individual pages and to link them together ourselves. So let's take a look at how we can do this. Let's imagine that this website has a home page. We also have some other pages that we would like to have, folklore, habits, and then we'd also like to talk about the folklore specifically of Virginia and Maine. These are some of the other pages that we might want to include in the website. We also may want to store our images in another directory so that we don't clog up the main web page directories with a bunch of images. So this is the structure that we should use if we want to create a website in this way. Take note that anything above the documents directory, such as the readme.md page, are not going to show on the website. Only pages that are below the docs folder will show up as a part of the website. Let's take a look at how URLs are constructed for the various pages. The base URL of the website consists of the username .github.io with a slash and then followed by whatever name we chose for the repository. The home page of the website is simply going to be this base URL with a slash put on the end of it like this. If I go to the home page, I'll see that URL appear in the URL box. To look at the other pages in the website, I'm going to have to add their path onto the base URL for the website. So for the folklore page, I'll put slash folklore and a slash. And for the habits page, slash habits slash. If I go a level further down into the Virginia and Maine folklore pages, then I build the URL out even further, slash folklore slash Virginia slash, etc. The path to the images is going to include the image folder, and then the name of the image file itself. Here you can see how I build up the URLs of the pages at different levels in the website. Here's the home page, here's a first level page, Folklore, and here's a second level page, Folklore Main. Let's go to the website and see what these look like. If I add Habits, I get to the Habits web page. Folklore takes me to the Folklore page, and I can add Main onto the end of that, and it'll take me to the Main page. However, none of these pages are linked together. Let's take a look at how we can access the URL of the image. Here's the image itself added on to Website slash Images, and then the image name. If I want to make links to the various pages, it's generally not a good idea to put in the entire URL, but rather to put in relative paths. Let's imagine that I'm working on the page about folklore. If I want to specify the path to the parent page, which would be the home page, then I use this relative path dot dot slash if I want to access a page that's on the same level, that is a sibling page, I have to go up one level and then go down to that page. So I would say dot dot and then slash habits. If I want to go to a child page, then all I need to do to get the relative path of it is to simply list the name of the child page and a slash. It's essentially what I would have to add on to the end of this page here in order to get to that page as a relative path. If I wanted to actually make the hyperlinks, this is how I would make them. I use the square bracket notation, and then following that in parentheses, I put the relative path. So this would take me up one level to the parent page or the home page coming from the folklore page. If I wanted to go to the sibling page about habitats, I would go up one level and then down to habitats. And if I want to go to a child page, I would just say the name of the child page followed by a slash. Now let's add those links to this page here. If I want to go to the home page, 
if I want to go to the sibling page, and if I want to go to the child pages, I can do that. I will go ahead and save this and push it to GitHub. After a bit of time to let Jekyll render the page, let's refresh and see if the links show up. All right, there they are. Let's see if they work. That takes me to the home page. That takes me to the habit page. And these two links take me to the child pages. Let's take a look at the markdown to see how we made the image be included in this page. Recall that to get to the image from the folklore page, I had to go up a level and then go down to the image level and down to the image itself, like this. Here we see this in the image tag. And here we see how that image was rendered in the web page. So it's a little bit challenging sometimes to figure out the paths, but if you are familiar with how to construct relative paths and you have a clear idea of the file structure in your folders, it shouldn't be too hard to decide how to connect the pages with links.